Hi guys, this was a very interesting bug which was reported to us by uh, a user at the SciChart support site, that's support.scichart.com. Uh, he said he had a problem with reclaiming memory after removing the chart from view uh, and basically he filled a chart with millions of points, 10 million points in this case, and it was using several hundred megabytes of data. Uh, and then when it was removed from the grid um, this data was not claimed. Now we spent about half a day investigating this because we could not figure out why this was happening um, and we wanted to make a video about it because very interesting it turns out it's a bug in WPF um, or maybe they'll say it's by design but whichever way uh, it's a WPF issue and there is a workaround here. So if you have, this is a chart with 10 million points which is using about 160 megabytes of memory so you can see this in our task manager, here it is, well, it's using 270 but 160 is due to the actual data. If you clear the data what's happening in code is we are saying uh, grid.children.remove user control and our, our user control is defined like this, we have a grid and then we have a user control that contains a chart and we're pretty much just removing that from the grid as soon as you clear data, nulling it and then doing a GC collect. Um, however, the memory usage here has not changed much. Um, back to this, this is dot, dot trace memory version 4 which we're using. You can also force a GC here and as you see nothing is happening even though we've got no chart. If we get a snapshot and take a look at this memory, you'll see that we got nearly 80 megabytes of doubles and 80 megabytes of date times. This is basically it's our XY data. And we group by shortest path to the GC root. And now we can start expanding this tree to see what is holding on to the memory. And what we find is user control is still referenced by main window via system.zaml.namescope. And there's some dictionary here which is basically keying the user control by name uh, in it. And this is holding the side chart surface. And if you dig deeper, um, this goes all the way down until we find our memory. Here we go. 80 megabytes of system.date times. So I thought to myself, system.zaml.namescope, what on earth is going on? So I suspected this, although I couldn't believe my eyes. So if you take out, sorry, wrong, wrong page. If I take this out and then I go into here and I declare my user control in code, add it in code, so I've got no more user control in XAML, I don't have an X name anymore and I've just declared it purely in code and if I now go ahead and rebuild this and I will rerun the analysis in the memory profiler so here we go, here's our chart we set some data as before and we clear it and we force a GC and wait a moment there we go, had to do that a couple of times and here you go, we're now using nothing if we, if we do a snapshot and take a look at what are we using we've got three megabytes and we've got a couple of bytes, a couple of strings um, and that's about it so very curious problem if you have an X name in a user control even if you remove this user control from its parent, the X name is going to keep it alive uh, forever. And if this is uh, referencing a very, very large object, as in our case, we had a user control which is referencing a side chart surface with 10 million points of date times and doubles, it keeps the whole tree alive. So um, just to note, if you ever see issues like this, first of all, we recommend using a memory profiler such as this. There's many others out there. Um, this is just something that we happen to have a license to and um, yeah, have a, have a look at what's holding it. Uh, we have designed SciCharts so that if you remove it from its parent, it will clean itself up. That's all you need to do. Um, okay, thanks. Have a good day, guys.